This is my Bible. I do what it says I do. I have what it says I have. From this Bible proceeds knowledge and understanding. I receive it today. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen and amen. Glory be to God. You may as well take your seats, stand up, spin, whatever you want to do. Love you more. Somebody under the influence of my voice. I see a compelling spirit. Something moving you. I decree and declare you shall be moved to higher degrees. We've been moving in this season of fire on the altar. And it's a long season. But we are producing results no matter what. In a few minutes, God will be speaking to his people. A few minutes. Give me a reason to. If you don't give me a reason to, we can just be here and enjoy whatever we are enjoying. Sit down. Now, if you look at what we were dealing with, we are speaking of prayer as a consumment of fire. That means prayer is no longer something that you are informing God of your problems. No, 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 no. no. There are generals in the kingdom that mature to higher degrees. Ah. Ah. Listen. Listen. The subject is simply try tears. Turn to somebody next to you and just say try tears. Everything we do in the realms of the spirit, everything has what we call degrees or dimensions of accessing whatever you want to access. There is a point where you ask. Ask and it shall be what? Given to you. Seek. You shall find. Those are dimensions. But what causes men and generals to do what they are doing now? What caused Babalola to do what he was doing? What caused Kenneth Hagin to be the general that he was? What caused John G. Lake to be John G. Lake? Do you know John G. Lake would put his hand and doctors would be watching as virus, virus portions are put in his hands and he would say, put the microscope and see them die. Why is it that they have that power? Babalola one time was ministering as he began to cry before the Lord in the forest with his assistants. They were waiting there and a python was right in front of him. So he stood up wanting to run away. God said, stay there. He stayed there for more minutes and the python was now approaching him. When he got to him and coiled around his legs, the Lord said, remain there. He remained there when he said, Amen. The python had dried up. I know you're not hearing me, so let me go here. Listen to me. Why is it that generals are this powerful? What secret do they have? <laughs> what secret is this? How powerful can a man become that a python becomes built on we bought just uh, we bought a property just up there a few days ago a few weeks ago rather and when we got there and my protocol they can beat up anything but the moment the snake catcher came in and told them this is a python it's four meters long and everyone said we're not going there a python a man is told stay there Let's just see what happens. 
What is it? What technology are they using? Ah. R.W. Shambach, a man called R.W. Shambach, one of the generals of old, passed on a few years back. It's not like years and years, a few years back. <laughs> he would cry before the Lord, prostrate before him, just in prayer, loving God. To the extent that one day he decided, let me just touch one of my assistants. Touched him and the man bowed in tears, crying and crying and crying. He said, if this man touched me and I had this reaction, let me go to the next hospital. He went to the hospital with no permission. He went in there, anointed everyone, first floor. Wow. As he went up, he, he did first floor and discharged them. <laughs> Get out. You are, you are here. Went to the second floor, emptied the second floor. Went to the third floor, emptied. They said, now let me go to the first again. Towards the mortuary. Found one man. One man was dying there and he had already been declared dead. Two minutes he was declared dead. He said, he waited just behind the curtain like this, waiting for the doctors to leave. When the doctors left, he took oil, anointed that person. He said, rise up. The person, listen to this, the person coughed sneezed seven times a man who was just a few meters out with his head with his with his leg hung to the ceiling because he was suffering from a problem with a leg fracture so he said young man i saw what you did there come come put me some of that oil on me now <laughs> what power do these people have <laughs> Do you see? When I read these things, I'm turned on in my spirit. I don't like it to be of the last yesterday years. I want it to be of now. Because if you're not careful, the devil will keep you in the past and in the future and never get you into the present. I speak to somebody under the influence of my voice. You are not going to rely on the history. You are going to make history. Ah. Uh, in the course of this, of the, of the inception of these series, I explained to you that hunger is a distraction. So I gave you another secret. Listen to me, ladies and gentlemen. If you eat like a fool, don't expect to get God in full. No, you're not hearing what I'm talking about. Food is a distraction in the spirit. But today we are talking about try. Sit down. Psalm 56, verse number 1. In the message Bible. Mm. Oh my God. Take my sight. Hey, I like the message Bible. I like the message Bible. As a matter of fact, I love the message Bible. Take my sight. You know, that alone, I can, the whole service can be over. We can go home now. Take my sight. I am getting kicked around. <laughs> I'm not even going to that, to the verse I want to go to right now. I'm just stopping here for a minute. Stormed on every day. Not a day goes by. But somebody beats me up. They make it their duty to beat me up. Are you like that now? Are you that person that don't, you don't even understand why they hate you. You don't know why you're not getting the job. Even when you get the job, they want to remove you with, ah, 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 ah. You can be the boss at the top of it all. Somebody is fighting you. Maybe I'm talking to myself. <laughs> uh, is somebody getting what I'm... By reason of this topic, your enemy will bow in the name of Jesus. Every satanic roar, every satanic agent from the pits of hell, I put an embargo on him. 
he will not be able to do nothing, say nothing, achieve nothing, accomplish nothing in the name of Jesus. Now hear this. Sit down. Hear this. But somebody beats me up. They make it their duty to beat me up. When I get really afraid, mm, what do I do? I come to you in trust. I am proud to praise God. Fearless now. I trust in God. That can, what can mere mortals do? That's not even the scripture I'm going to. They don't let up. This made my reputation. And had to plot my collapse. They gang up. Sneak together through the alleys. To take me by surprise. They wait for their chance to get me. That's not where I am with this thing. If, if you read the, the message Bible, you, you will go home okay. This is it. This is it. That's where I was going. Pay them back in evil. All right. Okay. Your problem with your type of Christianity is a wrong... No, 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 no. You got it wrong when you heard that Christ was love. The Bible says love pours coals of hot fire over your enemies. Love is not a feeling. It's a weapon. So you were told Jesus is love. And every time you think of love, oh, you know, the enemies. Do you understand what is happening right now in Israel? Do you remember? Israel is fighting Hamas. And by the way, the word Hamas in Hebrew means violence. Now hear this. They are fighting Hamas using weapons. Mm -hmm. Using real weapons. Ballistic missiles. Jets. Carpet bombing everything. And yet Israel is the real custodian of the God revelation of the God of Israel. The one we worship. The Jews who actually say this is our God. We worship the God of the Jews. But when the Jews worship God, they carpet bomb their enemies physically. We rely on prayer. The people that know their God are using ballistic missiles. I speak to somebody under this. This minute, this time, the enemy will be beaten left, right, center, back, forward, sideways with everything we got. Prayer will be part of it. <laughs> Sit down before you cram my style. Now, this is not where I'm going. Pay them back. In evil, get angry, God. Down with these people. But uh, uh, go back, go back, go back. Down with these people. <laughs> I know this is the verse you like. This is the verse you like. Down with these people. <laughs> I said, down with these people. Barataka. Down with these people. <laughs> Sit down. <laughs> Pay them back in evil. <laughs> Say, no, you're not being like Jesus. Do you, do, do you really honestly, do you honestly understand Jesus? Jesus picked up a whip. <laughs> Flogged the people. Now, now, if you love and they tell you, 
But just love your enemy. No problem. Love them like Jesus. At least start from the whip level. The Bible says love is just. It is just. The problem, the moment you hear the word long suffering. Ah. You think long suffering means you suffer for long. It is the word macrothumea, where we get the word thermal, meaning fire. It means keep burning, keep firing, keep firing. So when it says long suffering, it doesn't mean they suffer for long. No. When they say what they say, keep burning. When they say what they say, keep firing. When they downplay you, keep firing. When they talk against you, keep firing. Macrothumea, keep firing. Don't let down your fire. Mm -hmm. uh, do you realize it is in the same Bible where Ananias and Sapphira died for their own money? The Holy Ghost in the Bible killed people for money. How? They are money. Not the Holy Ghost's money. They are on money. You are a wrong Christian. This same Babalola, they came and they said, you are not going to do a conference here. He said, wait. No one will do a conference here. The witches had gathered and said, we are doing our own ritual here. Look at the position of the moon. He said, no. They said, okay. We will come together. We will do our thing. If you insist on having your crusade here, we will kill you. He said, I will kill all of you. They came. He said, Father, like Datan and Korah, open this earth and swallow them. Three. One got stuck and rain. To this day, it's still there, the sign. Buried in the ground. One man. He's not American. But how were they able to possess this? Remember Gonzura here? How he got all the crocodiles out. The men here in Zimbabwe, not another country. Why were they able to do so? Here's the, here's the answer. It's dimensions, brothers. It's dimensions. Let's go. Pay them back in evil. Get angry, God. Down with these people. Mm. You have kept track of every toss and turn. Hi! Do you understand? There is a prayer just by turning and tossing in anguish in your bed. No, no, you didn't get what I just said right now. In your head, prayer is only when you talk. No! There is a certain level where words, you no longer have words. Ah. I said you no longer have words. You have finished everything in your vocabulary trying to explain your problem to God. And then after saying amen, you lie in your bed. According to you, you're just tossing and turning. But the Bible says God is tricking your tossing and your turning. Ay Ay God is making a point that he's looking at your tossing and your turning. Hear this. Through the sleepless nights, you thought it wasn't prayer, that sleepless night you did. Each tear hi, entered into your ledger. There is a balance sheet for your tears, brothers and sisters. There is an accounting system for every tear, every drop. I'm talking to somebody under the influence of my voice. Your tears are not going anywhere. When they say you are something else, try tears. When the job is not coming by, try tears. When the marriage is breaking down, try tears. When there is financial problem, try tears. When the relatives don't like you, try tears. When everybody's against you, try tears. There is a certain dimension where tears are more eloquent than your prayer. <laughs> How many of you, maybe I'm just talking to myself. How many of you have sat down in bed or in the chair somewhere and you just begin to cry? You want to explain something to God, but you cry. You have, you have spoken in tongues. 
You have prayed in non-language, in articulate speech. Then you get to a point where you begin to groan. You know it's only pain and tears are simply coming out. It's no longer words. You are finished. You are done. Try tears, brothers and sisters. <laughs> William Booth, who is the founder of the uh, this, 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 this Salvation Army that you see people wearing these uh, army clothes. He had sent two women to go and win a whole town to Christ. For two years, they failed. Two years, waking up every morning and going there. For two years, they failed. They went back to William, uh, William Booth and said, Sir, we have failed. He said, he laughed. He said, go back and try tears this time. They went back. The whole town was saved on tears. Do you realize that tears have 50% the properties of amniotic acid? The amniotic fluid. When you say the waters have broken, the components of those waters, 50% like tears. So what are tears? Tears show you you're about to birth something. Something is coming. I said, you are breaking your waters in tears. Something is coming. I know you're not getting what I'm trying to say now, but something is happening. <laughs> Hear this. Keep going. I want to show you. La Ruzuske Angrofidis go on Gradegis. Each tear entered into your ledger. Each egg written in your book. King James, Psalm 56, verse 8 in King James Version. I want you to see it. Thou tellest my wanderings. Mm. You put my tears in your bottle. If you cry now, you realize that your tears will dry faster than water. The properties is because somebody has collected them. No, you're not getting what I'm saying. No, you see, you see, see when I talk, the, the, the reason why I don't go deep in the things of the spirit is because I can look at my audience and realize they have not caught something. Hmm. Don't play around now. We're not talking about any type of crying here. We're not talking about just go into the into the into the prayer room and go ah! no not that kind of crying something that touches your heart sir if you have never prayed until you cried you don't love god because your tears are the photograph of your heart If you have never gotten to a point where you would weep for God, you would weep. Some of you just know how to weep for your boyfriend. Or well, I will stay here for a few minutes. Because I can see you are like, go, go, go. No, no, let's go back to prayer. Mm -hmm. One missed call. What is he doing? What is he doing? <laughs> I saw a man, a lady was asking the man, the boyfriend, like, oh, so oh, would you love me if I was if I was poor? Like, yeah, but I love you, babe. Okay. What if I was sick? I love you. You know, men don't understand these things. We, you know, they we, we get confused fast. Is it true you love me, baby? You really love me, like love me. Yes, I love you. I can do anything for you. I love you. What if I was a worm? Ah, worm. <laughs> if you say, I won't love you, so you don't love me for real, you should, ah, 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 unconditionally. How, well, how many human beings marry a worm? One man was asked by the woman, 
if you are going to be given one million dollars hmm, to kiss an ugly woman I'm not going to go there. <laughs> okay, let me ask you. <laughs> if you're going to be given one million dollars to kiss the most beautiful woman on earth or to kiss me, that's the woman asking, who, what would you do? Remember, you are in one room with this woman. The woman is saying, one million dollars to kiss the most beautiful woman on earth or to kiss me. I will kiss the most beautiful woman because that will be my wife. You need to use sense. Use sense. So the man said, I'll kiss the most beautiful woman here, understanding that if I kiss the most beautiful woman, I get one million and we live happily ever after with my woman. The lady said, so, so what about me? This is one million now. He thought quickly, he said, no, but I thought you, you are the most beautiful woman, so if I kiss you, I'll be given one million. Men can think faster. <laughs> Let's go back to scripture. Thou tellest my wanderings. Put down my tears in your bottle. Are they not in your book? Mm. Imagine that God arranged it so perfectly that he can take you, put everything in a book, in a ledger. If it's in a ledger, that means there are minuses and pluses. That means there is a point where he takes that type of tear if you cried five liters this year, maybe it's taking one milliliter for your problem. Because if there is a ledger, that means there is a spending. <laughs> now imagine if your problem requires a dimension of tears. And you did not cry once. When it gets into the balance sheet, it finds zero. Now you start saying God doesn't like you. He doesn't love you. He has favorites. I, I understand. Because if you move around with me, you think God favors me more than you. I have that kind of effect. Achidon each. Achidon. Achidon wa chino enda each. This thing will not go anywhere. It's not going to leave. Just imagine. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. You see generals being favored by God like this. What do you think? Hey. William Marion Branham I told you of the case of the bull that was killing people, injuring people. And he went there by mistake, wanted to go to another house, and he just. And people started saying, No, don't move. He looked at the bull, and the bull was charging towards him. He looked at it and told it, I love you. emotionally connected to the bull. To love it to the extent that it touched the, its heart of mercy. And the bull came and sniffed and turned around. First time a man said, I love you. I told you I did that to, to the when the lion, I love you too. I how many remember the story of the lion? That the lion was charging at me like this. Two meters. I could see it approach like this. I switched off the television. Now, now we are talking about a real one approaching here. You, I know you. You will summarize the area. You will run. One approaching like this, you tell it, I love you. Why? An ability to connect with God's nature. 
Your problem is you have never cried. You have never gotten deep into it. This is the reason why it is so easy for women to be used by God than men. Oh yeah, this is true. Do you understand? Because they are emotionally involved. <laughs> Tears are a reality of releasing your emotions. Yes, you women, you cry for wrong reasons. Oh yeah, clap again like you did before. Thank you. Ah. One person just tells you, I don't love you anymore. My life is finished. Ah. One person, one Christian came here and said, Prophet, please, this, this man broke my heart. I thought you gave the heart to Jesus. <laughs> he broke your heart. Who, who, where did you put this heart? So we are talking about connecting with God to a point where your heart says, I just love Jesus. Have you ever sat down and begin to think of how Jesus died? Do you just sit down and just imagine? Wow. The Bible says he pulled, they pulled my beard. They would hit him with spikes that had hooks that would take his flesh out. On the back, it would live with flesh. <laughs> but would you understand it? You wouldn't. Because you never sat down to actually look at it this way. You have watched the movies. This is your problem. No movie will be able to take into real, real consideration of what Christ actually went through. No movie will be able, no Hollywood will be able to actually capture it. If you sit down and begin to think about it, tears will. But if you have never got into a point of being in love to the point of crying, you are the miserable of all Christians. You have never seen anything. These people are able to capture the heart of God by venturing into accessing the depth of the emotions, their own emotions, to capture the heart of God. How to romance the spirit of God. Amen. Hear this. Hear this. That's why the Bible says, enter his gates with what? Thanksgiving and praise. Why is it concentrating on this? Because what it's trying to show you is, get to a point where you begin to praise him. But if you look at the words itself, themselves, you look at it this way. Even the word worship, it is the word proskuneo. It means to lean forward in order to kiss. It is actually a vulgar word. Oh yeah, you don't go to Israel and go proskuneo, they'll arrest you. It is a sexual term. Now the Bible, when it says worship, it is trying to show you that you are entering into somebody's heart. It's actually a romance. This is why when I have these songs that we sing in this country, brilliant ones, but they, they really don't touch nobody. I run and run everywhere. Why were you running? I search and search. Searching for what? There's no one, there's no one like you. You thought there was one. You even went around looking for something else. <laughs> In your head, you are thinking God is excited. No, you are the only one excited. God is wondering why were you looking around? Why were you searching? Let me give you this thing. Do you know the opposite of black is white? Do you know the opposite of God is not certain? He can't be the opposite. There is no comparison to God. He has no opposite. If he just stands up like this, 
Listen, if he moves his pinky finger without calculating, we'll all die. Imagine the devil. One day he just said some few things. Do you know the devil never sinned? I can prove it from the scriptures. The devil never sinned. He said, I will go up and become like the most high. And, and, and God said, uh, <laughs> we don't want this kind of thinking. Chase him away from heaven. Hey, just thinking. The, the guy did not even get to acting it. He just thought, I will go up. He said, Michael. Mike, Mike, Mike. <laughs> The fool is thinking differently. Let's chase him now. Just a thought removed from heaven. I wish you could just get into a location, ladies and gentlemen. Where when you begin to pray, something in you tells you, stay there. Stay in the place of, in the place of prayer until God touches you and you touch his heart. There are prayers that are never complete. Until tears begin to flow. Amen. How many of you understand? You know, I come from Mashingo, where God comes from. We, we like our apologies done perfectly. You gotta convince me. Now, here, because of the Western world, we just are, sorry, sorry, you know, I apologize for what I did. I, 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 I. No, write a letter. Sit there, read your own letter to me. <laughs> ah! Have you ever seen? Now, this, please, see. Have you ever seen when men apologize and when women apologize? I know women think they apologize better. No. We do better. <laughs> women demand an apology. Hey! It is to carry flowers. Restaurant. What kind of apology is this? It gets even into your stomach. Why is it that women would demand a certain apology? Because they are emotional beings. You can't just go after messing up. You say, baby, I'm sorry. <laughs> you hear, where, where is the present? Present for what now? The gift for what? Is sorry not enough? Okay, I have confessed I did wrong here and did wrong here. Uh, don't worry now. Just relax, baby. This is it. You are my, you are my love. I'll be like, no, no, you are not sincere. I'll be like, how do I become sincere? It is to include something you lose in order for me to know you are with me. Because they know men don't cry. That's why as men, we do not demand a present or a gift when you miss up. You would be on your knees asking for forgiveness, crying. Then a man will be like, don't do it again. Hmm. You just don't know how to capture men. Just touch your men nicely on the hand and tell, baby, I just love you. I know I messed up tear or two. You can even pretend it's okay. Now, No men will be like, yeah, 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 yeah. No, you're not serious. We don't know. But women can sniff it from afar. Even if you cry, they'll be like, this is, this is a lie. You're, you're lying. You're lying. <laughs> Let me tell you something. Every problem I've gotten into, my wife had already seen it. Do you, ah, I had one pastor, one pastor, from another church who was who started a church somewhere. They go, just got a divorce with, um, you know, got a divorce somewhere. Whether it's a, it's a blessing or not, I will not explain that, to you, but there was a divorce. <laughs> no, I'm leaving that guy alone. <laughs> the guy just woke up and the woman is shouting every, the whole house. She's crying. The man called me, he's like, Papa, I don't know what to do. I said, what's happening? My wife is divorcing me. She's just shouting. She says, I'm in love with a woman. I said, were you caught with a woman? He said, no. I posted something, my photo, and another lady from church put a fire emoji. 
I said, hmm. I said, what? I said, okay, put the, your wife on the phone. I said, what's happening, daughter? She's like, no, 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 it's not just a fire emoji. I can tell fire emojis. This fire emoji. <laughs> explain the fire emoji looks the same she said no 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 this one this fire emoji is a different emoji <laughs> ah! I said the hey this fire emoji is a different fire emoji papa no 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 this one no Two weeks, three weeks. I said to my son, look, you want to start a ministry like you're doing right now? You need to be serious. Who is this woman, this one? I said, ah, you know, she's just a friend. <laughs> three weeks later, the man was in love with this one. No, no, they were in love, but now it was open because the girl was now out of the way. Do you notice this fire emoji? <laughs> Women can locate a fire emoji that's different. They can, they can, they can get there. You, you see that one? Fire on that altar, fire! <laughs> ah! I couldn't understand how she was able to spot that this fire emoji should not be put there. It was just a fire emoji. They are able to see if someone gets into the house of like, I don't like this, your friend of this friend of yours. It will be the first day that person arrives. That person will be so nice. Even greet you, oh, how are you, mama? And sit down. She'll just be like, mm, I, I don't understand this one. Like how? And in your head as a man, you think they are jealousy. They're just too, too much. No, they have an ability to spot danger. Because they are emotionally attuned. So never get to a point where you do not understand that God himself considers himself to be female. Okay, here, let me stay here for a minute. Do you understand what the Bible calls El Shaddai? The word El Shaddai does not mean more than enough. It means the one with many breasts. Mm -hmm. the many breasted one if a woman does not take care of the child I will what is he saying he's saying I have feminine qualities <laughs> yes he comes out as king but he knows exactly what every female has do you understand that the first creature oh let me see let me, let me show you. Let me show you that Adam. Let's go to Genesis 5 verse number 1 and 2. I want to show you something. That Adam was a woman. This is the book of the generations of Adam. In the day that God created men. In the likeness of God made ye him. Mm -hmm. Male and female created ye them. And blessed them and called their name Adam. Uh -uh. You see, it takes time for you to get this. I thought you guys were learned. Let me go this side because you didn't catch that. What was the name of Eve? Adam! Ah. Do we read it again? Okay, verse 1. You'll go home angry today. <laughs> attune. Be attuned. Tune your mortal body until the feminine quality of emotions come out. Any man of God with no emotions is a powerless man. To heal the sick, you should feel for those who are in pain. Without that, there is no gift of healing you can be given. 
You look at a, at a small wound, you go. And you say, God, give me the, the power to heal the sick. Ah. No. You have to be, to be attuned. Do you want to be rich, sir? You have to be emotionally attuned to the point of looking at a rich person and saying, I love to do what he's doing. Not I want what he has. Yeah, so I'll fight him. Send to your neighbor and say, rich people have no enemies. They simply have poor enemies. No, no, they see they didn't get that part. In a certain bracket of money, all we are doing is to figure out what is he doing in his business so I can do it. Only time we fight as rich people, remember I said we, I'm part of it. Now let's go. <laughs> Look at the whole church from here to there. Jealousy in one room. I did not expect this. I thought these ones were my learned people. But jealousy is too much. Anyway, guys, let's talk. Viewers all over the world, let's talk. Because these are not, are not getting me at all. We can only have a problem if you encroach into my business. But if you don't encroach into my business, no problem. And if we compete, it's called competition. It's not enmity. But broke people will hate you. You know, I, I got a problem. I thought Zimbabwe, Zimbabwean people only, they hate, just, they hate prophets. Then I realized there were other prophets that are not being hated. They're not being hated on. No, 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 no. Because they are broke. That's when I realized they hate rich people. That's it. Let's go. This is the book of the generations of Adam. In the day that God created man, in the likeness of God, made ye him. <laughs> Male and female created he them and blessed them and called their name Adam. Let me show you. <laughs> when did he call them? On the first day he created them. He called him Adam. While his, while his Eve was inside Adam, he said, I know you are a woman, and I created as a male and female in one body. Then he took the woman from the rib, pulled, put it here. Now your wife, every time you go home, 3 a.m. you arrive. Eat up my food. Ah, the lady is already sleeping. 3 a.m. Why did you come late? <laughs> Let me just show you a verse. Today is a very different day. Let me show you a scripture. Mm. What is in woman? What is in women? Are you getting this? Hmm. 1 Peter 3 verse number 6. I want us to just look up. Don't do nothing. Even as Sarah obeyed Abraham, calling him Lord. The word Lord means master honor. Your husband is not your friend. He's your honor. No, no, no. You did not hear me. You are owned by your husband. You don't want to be owned, don't get married. Let me tell you something. I know preachers will not tell you this. You think, because the church will be empty if they, they tell you the truth. You are not an equal to your husband. No. You are not even a friend or a partner. No. You are owned. I will stay here for a few minutes. I'm not going anywhere. And men, don't clap too much because we're going somewhere.
What were you thinking? What do you think husband means? You think it's Anna? Some of you women think you are, you are married to your big sister. <laughs> this is why I said to you men, don't accept when, you're, when, you're, when your wife calls you babe. No, never. The, her ex-boyfriend was also babe. <laughs> my darling, my love. What were you calling your ex? I don't know what you are thinking. Maybe when I'm kissing you, you are thinking of your... Then you go, babe, babe, babe. And your, your eyes are closed. Imagine someone from, from Tawa Tawa, from Chiredzi, from Chabalala. And I'm here. No, we are not doing that. We are not doing that nonsense. Call me the way God called me. He said, I am your... Stay. I know you don't get this, but anyway, you'll get it. Even, no, no, let's go to five, because it might say maybe, mm -hmm. for after this manner in all time, the holy women also, are you a holy woman? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So if you're not going to do what is being said, you are an unholy woman. You choose. Who trusted in God, adorned themselves. Being in subjection means being subject of their husbands. This is why I tell my daughters, don't just run around. I want to get married. This is the prayer request. If I move right now, even after preaching this, I say, what is your prayer request? I need a marriage. I need a man. Listen to me. Hear this from me. A married man, happily married, but hear this from me. Marriage is overrated. You don't need it. Uh -uh. See, look at them here. Let me go here. Listen to me. You do not need it. Now, let me preach to those who need it and want it. Mm -hmm. Let's go. That's why Paul says it this way. You see, if you read the, the context of what Paul is trying to say, he's trying to say marriage is only valid if it is because of ministry. If I'm marrying because there is something we are going to do together for God. But just, just for procreating and, and loving each other and lovey-dovey and going on holidays? No. And hear me well again. Love is not a feeling. If it's a feeling, you'll be left on the altar. Love is a decision. I've got a cousin sister who waited for for, for, for the husband at the altar, like for hour, just say, where is the man? He is drunk. Was one of the army generals here, one majors here. Was drunk. The guy was drunk. And he arrived. And guess what? <laughs> for some reason, my sister trusted this guy. He said, "Look, you deal with the cake and the and the rings." The man did not deal with no cake. Eh? He arrived, and I said. People are trying to figure out where the cake is. He kept on saying it's a surprise. It was a surprise, okay? They had to go to OK or some other shop to find a birthday cake. <laughs> the, guy, the guy had just been pushed into this, into this wedding thing. He's OK. Marriage is OK. The guy was like, but I want the white wedding. I just want the white. He said, I'll give you one, OK? <laughs> Then the rings they got, you know, from is Mucheke, they got the rings, you know, the rings from the streets. The guy had said it's a surprise. We were surprised. <laughs> Did he love the woman? Yes. But to men, love is a decision, it's not a feeling. I tell you now, and don't be afraid. You're in church, the Bible speaks. Men can sleep with anything that walks. Aye. Okay. All right. <laughs> Trust me. Your face will come into consideration after. You see, I know you didn't want the truth. Now you're acting. 
You are acting holier now, holier. <laughs> because we are not emotionally there. You know, I do marriage seminars. All right? I do marriage seminars. So, in those marriage seminars, I know exactly what men are like, women are like. One lady said, Dad, I have a problem. So, we do what is called, Why did I get married? Where we go out, remember why did I get married? Where we go out there, the last time I think we were at Chengeta, we did three days there with couples. I don't know whether 70 couples were there and all that. And we would just be sitting there and airing these things and talking real, we'll go deep into it, including intimacy, sex, everything. We'll be discussing everything. The woman just said, Papa, I have a problem. I said, well, what's, what's happening? He said, he just goes upstairs to sleep in the middle of a movie that he says we're watching. Then he just says, baby, have you seen my socks? It's not socks he's looking for. <laughs> anyway, you heard this. <laughs> no, no, he's not looking for socks. He says, every time he says socks, I know what it is. Socks. <laughs> Where is the romance? Hug me or something. Just do something. You can't even say I love you. You are my lover. You are. You can't. Socks. Nah. Be emotionally included in this thing, man. This is what some of you do. You commit rap case on God. God needs romance. Praise him. Tell him how you love him. Sing for him. As you get into those dimensions, you realize you get into a certain location where all of a sudden tears come out. You can't explain why you are really crying. But then you begin to understand who God is. But as men, you need to get to a point where you, 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 you learn how to do it. This is what the Bible says, husbands, learn to love your wives. Amen. If we are going to learn, we can't. It's not automatic. It says learn to love your wives. It's written in the Bible. Husbands, learn to love. <laughs> Are you, are you flowing or you've gone home? Flowing. When it says that, what do you think it means? It means there is, a, there is a disconnect in us. We can't just automatically get there. We get to a problem where we see it from afar. And go like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I love this thing. I want to do this thing. I want to. But it's all. It's all what? That's not even it. You see, that says love your wife. In the, when the Bible says, the Bible says in the witness of two or three people, that's one of them. Two or three people. Let the truth be established when you have two. Are you getting this? Now that means there is a disconnect in us. We have a problem spiritually. Of connecting with you. Let, let me go 126. Psalm 126. I want to show you. Psalm 126. Psalm 126. Are you here? Manamalai. Yeah. Ha ha ha. Yerina no saleaika. So fatada. Isa no mahalia tatoons. Mm. Notice here. Le hataco shepena. Frenagira bahate. When the Lord turned again the captivity of Zion, we were like them that dreamt. Mm. Then was our mouth filled with laughter and our tongue with singing. They say they among the heathen, the Lord has gone, done great things for them. 
And the Lord had done great things for them. Whereof we are glad. They were the ones crying. But their crying led to another dimension of seeing and realizing the power of God. Now, if you see this, let me give you this. If you see the scripture that you just read, husbands, love your wives, is an instruction. It becomes a commandment. Why does it become your commandment if it comes naturally? We are even told, do it. Why are we being told, do it? Because we will not do it on our own. I was talking to him one time. He said, Major, my wife did 27 years or 19 years in your own house. Me, I did my own 21 in my own house. Now we join hands. What I think is making sense, she thinks is stupid. Because I'm 21 years of experience on this thing I think is clever, but to my wife it's stupid. 21 years. Then all of a sudden you meet one with 19 years experience, 21 years of experience, and you think what he thinks is stupid, you think what he thinks is stupid. Then you join hands. It won't work. Hear me. I want you to see something. In a few minutes. I said God will be speaking, right? A man called A.A. A. Allen. How many know A.A. Allen? How many remember A.A. A. Allen? Oh, you don't know A.A. A. Allen. Do you know A.A. A. Allen? Do you know A.A. A. Allen? A.A. A. Allen was a man who was used in healing the sick. One day he just saw a man with a crocodile skin. You know, like the skin is like a crocodile patched on everywhere. He wanted to pray for the man. He felt emotions and began to weep, cry. As he was crying, he said, come. Went there and wrapped his hands around that man. He did not even pray nothing. Wrapped his hands. And then released him. It was clear. The skin was not clear. Why? There is something. There is something. Do you know my biggest prayer partner is my wife? No, no, no. You, you're not getting me. Why? Because I know there are qualities in her that will get even here, here to, to, to touch the heart of God. So it's better for me and my wife to be prayerful together. Because if I don't go this side, and I want to show you that thing. I want to show you that thing. Mm -hmm. I want to show you something. Ah, this is very good for you. But uh, because of time. Are you here? 1 Peter 3, 7. 1 Peter 3, 7. I want to show you quickly because of time. Likewise, ye husbands, dwell with them, these women. Hmm? Uh uh, look up. Husbands, now. Women, if you fail to say amen, I'm coming back for you. <laughs> Likewise, <laughs> this is the amen of fear, you know, <laughs> that this thing might come back in the wrong direction. Likewise, ye husbands, dwell with them according to knowledge. Ah! Oh, yeah. Notice. It says, dwell with your wife with knowledge. You need to study your wife to study how to treat your wife. Study it. It, it has to be a degree. Hear me now. Giving honor unto the wife. Hey. <laughs> Give honor to your wife. Is unto weaker vessel. Now, remember, this Bible is not saying your wife is a weaker vessel. Mm -hmm. Let's go there. If I give you my Rolls Royce to drive, I will tell you, treat it 
as unto a weaker vessel of glass. Doesn't mean say the car is weak. No, it's too precious. Handle with care. That doesn't mean say it will break down. No, I just don't want scratches. No, you, you're getting it now. It's not saying women are weak. Let me give you scientific proof that they are not weak. One contraction of a woman giving birth is enough to kill 10 average men. Science. One contraction. Imagine two. <laughs> we can't manage it. Be given one pregnancy for one day. Ah, I'm telling you. <laughs> you die before anything, before the scan comes to search for that child. So women are not weak. No. Okay. Do you think it is in God to create weak things? According to knowledge, giving honor unto the wife. Hmm. As unto weaker vessel, and as being heirs together of the grace of life, that your prayers be not hindered. Okay, okay, you did not hear me. I, you, 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 you men, you go and pray. God is like, I'm not hearing you. Look at your wife. Look at your wife is crying. I'm not, I'm not hearing nothing. The Bible is saying our own prayers as men can be hindered by the way we treat wives. No, you're still not getting I don't care. You can go to a prayer mountain. As long as your wife is not happy, that prayer mountain is just a, you are, it's a straw in the park. You're just walking. There's nothing you're doing. You can be fasting for 20 days. If your wife is, is not happy, you are not hearing nothing. God is not attending to any prayer. That fasting is dieting. Why? Because women have a way of releasing emotions. <sighs> I know you're not hearing me, so I'll, I'll pretend you're not getting me. I don't know why men of God, my things are not working. Is your wife happy? Women are so easy eh, to... to to make them happy. Women are the easiest creatures to make. Ah. They can be affected by words. Even when you don't mean the words. Ah. You, are not, you, are, you don't like me anymore, so I came here trying to give you the real thing, but now I'm not doing it. Are you here or you have not, you have not heard me? To just send a message, I love you. They will smile. They'll be looking at it. Analyze if it says, I love you. If you, God forbid you put an exclamation mark. Ah! <laughs> they will start thinking, why did he put an exclamation mark? He never did it before. He has never done it. Ask your man if she receives I love you from the wife. <laughs> it's just a writing. <laughs> uh, trust me, these are men, can, they can tell you. I was with my friend way back when I used to do friends. Now oh, this friend thing is just nonsense. Because your friends are going to be your enemies. And I'm, I'm, I'm in there, and it's just right there, and the wife just got angry. And I was with prophetess. And the wife got angry and they are shouting at each other, shouting at each other. He came to me and said, prophet, what do I do now? What, what, what do I do? I said, look, what does your wife like? She's like, man, you have to help me. I said, maybe buy flowers. I said, no, the shops are closed. He said, don't worry. He came out. It's around 11 at night. 11, 12, midnight there. He ran to the, to the next roundabout. There were some flowers there. He just pulled. <laughs> with soil there. The moment he did this to the wife, <laughs> the 
whole thing is done. Finished. Try it with men. Try it. They get angry, you go get flowers. No, no, no. For what? They don't work. Why is it so? They are emotionally charged. They release a certain level of emotions that touch God. To the extent that those emotions still communicate when you go before God, trying to ask for your own thing to be done. And God says, no, 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 no. There are other emotions affecting me. Do you know the Bible says, for my name, for I am a jealous God, and my name is also called jealous. Imagine God says he's called jealous. And you just think, it's going to work like that. No. There are emotions you need to put into consideration. Ah. Hush. The Bible says, he that sows in tears, he that sows in tears shall reap. He that sows in tears shall reap in joy. Quickly, because of time. One, two, three. One, two, three. Mm-hmm. Did we not start from verse number one of that? Mm -hmm. Do we not say verse number one? Thank you. When the Lord turned again, let's go. Watch this. The captivity of Zion. We were like them that dreamt. The Lord has done great things for us. Whereof we are glad. Turn again our captivity, O Lord, as the streams in the south. They that sow in tears shall reap in joy. No, 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 you did not hear me. He's not saying go and sow while he's crying. No, he's saying tears are seeds. There is a harvest you're about to reap. Ayakano Malesh. Your problem is, you're just waiting to sow money. I, I sowed 1,000 this year. I sowed, no, no. You never counted the ledgers. If you look in the book of Revelation, it says, and the Lord will mix the prayers and they become a perfume to him. But the verses before that scripture actually explain that he takes the scroll or the book and then the prayers. That means the mixture of the prayers and the book and the, all these things. They give you the book which the Bible says tears are recorded in. You will take in the book of in the book of Revelation and you mix it with the prayers of the saints, and they will go up as a sweet smelling sava. When you cry, you are bringing flavor to the perfume God feels. Don't just go crying. No, sit down, think through what you are saying to God. Some of you, when you speak in tongues, nothing, nothing, nothing. There's no emotional connect. You have a disconnect with God. Imagine God is your lover. And yet, your love and your speaking is bankrupt of emotions. Imagine, imagine having a lover who is not emotional. Imagine, that's what you have been treating God like. Hey. Father, in the name of Jesus, I need a job. Remember my problem. Amen. <laughs> when you're about to sleep, please, Father, I'm about to sleep now. Protect me during the night. Amen. <laughs> ah, even if I was God, I would not answer one of your prayers, not one. <laughs> I know you are trying to use me. Some of your prayers are just give me, give me, give me. You are give me. Just give me. Everything is give me. Have a prayer just to talk to God about how I love you. I just love you. You know, sometimes I just, I just move around and say, God, I love you. I just need to hug you today. I, I have to imagine if I don't see him. I have to imagine he's here, right here. And just go and do like this. Why? Because there is something Something that is called intimacy with the spirit. 
romancing the heart of God. This is a higher dimension. Something that is deeper than prayer. It's when prayer has lost essence in the sense of words are finished in the realm of prayer. And now you're just standing there and you don't know what to do. Do you remember that thing when I said to you, you get a lock in the spirit. Where you just go kakato, kaka, kaka, ka. You say, what does it mean? I don't know, but kakato is the only word I have now in tongues. Well, is, there, is there another word you can create? No, 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 no. Go speak in tongues, kakato, kakato. Some of you want to change your tongues. Because you think it's, if you are on rikashinda, shinda, kushikara, shinda. I shall keep speaking those tongues. Just keep doing it. It doesn't matter. That's where you are ending. Don't try to, to be gymnastic, to do gymnastics with tongues. No, keep saying it. That same word will lead you to dimensions you don't understand. Turn to someone next to you and say, shinda. Shinda. Mm -hmm. Keep going there. Don't worry. Don't try to say, okay, I, I think it's now time to change the language now. I think I need to move my Allah uh, to le, to ra. No. Keep going there. Kakato. 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 And don't try to focus on the tongues. No. Focus on the thing you need. Kakato. 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 Before you know it, you realize your tongues will begin to get you to a dimension and your tears will start coming out. And you wonder why you got there. The book of Luke. No, 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 no. 126 verse number one. Look at what it says. Proverbs. Proverbs 126 verse number one. Watch this. I want you to see that crying is a dimension. Mela no skeba. Here. Okay. Did I not say Proverbs? Thank you. Melanoseke. Yeah. I was going to, I was, I was seeing someone. Meladoseke bele. Keruna lakushke getes. No, no, no. Oh. Oh. Ay, 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 ay. Hi. Is it your first time here? Yes, 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 yes. Just yes or no. Please, I'm expecting you to be explaining to our visitors that when I'm prophesying, they don't tell me information. I tell them information. <laughs> Prophecy is simply a reason we give you so that when you go home, you go like, you know, there's no way he could have known this and that and that. You know? Then your faith, what? Goes up. But if I say, uh, what's your name? He said, my name is not Sarah. Who, 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 said, who said Sarah? <laughs> I live in Chitungiza, number 26. <laughs> Just relax now. Relax. Mm. You are looking for breakthrough. Yes, Major. Ah, that's good. Now you are learning. Ay, 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 ay. In the realm of the spirit. No, you can, you can receive all you want. Just don't tell us information. In the realm of the spirit. I saw you rising to higher degrees. I receive, I receive, I receive. But the moment you sat there. Allah. Is, did, did anyone here interview you? No, no major, no. No, no, no one. No. no one here spoke to you about no major, anything you no. were okay, no, no major. problem. Professor Major. Professor Major, Get me a pen and a paper. Pen and a paper. Give me this pen. Let me open here. Okay? Then you put Let something like this. Me, yeah, like this. Good.
This, this is for you. Don't open it. So now, in the realm of the spirit, Professor Major, you were, you were crying for something. You were crying for something. Yes, Major, yes, yes. And this thing was to do with this thing I was telling people not to cry for. Jesus. Now, my sister, where are you coming from? Which country? India, India. Major. Which part of India? Hyderabad, India. Just open it, eh? No, no, don't worry about it. Don't, that's for her. All right. Hyderabad, right? Show it there. Now, hear this. <laughs> but the idea now is what you are crying for. Yes, Major. I'm seeing the enemy is trying by all means yes, Major. to bring people that are not suitable for you. Now, in the realm of the spirit, do you know it is possible to do blood tests in the realm of the spirit? When I'm looking at her like this, I can tell she's not my daughter spiritually, but she's the daughter of my son. Very true, Major. Very true, Major. I'm daughter of the specialist. You, you, your father is who? Prophet Branson. Yes. Yes, yes. I can eat this thing. Yes. Now, in realm of the spirit, there are tribes. <laughs> you can actually locate your tribe and say, this one, this one, I'm connected to this one. In the spirit, I'm connected to that one and that one. You can. I don't know why. The Lord ministered to me. Yes, prophesy, prophesy. There is deliverance Amen, I it. on Minu. Minu, Minu, very Minu. True, very true, Who is Minu? Minu, she's my sister, young. Professor. Alasha, come on. No. Let's go. In a few minutes. We're coming here. As a matter of fact, come close. Come close. This, this, what is happening now? Yes, Major. You saw me call you in the prophetic. You, yes, you knew it. Yes, yes. And, yes. and as a matter of fact, you see, this is why you were sitting from there. You were sitting, asking, I want to greet him in Shona. I want to yes, say something. Yes, you even yes, practice yes, what you say. Yes, say it. Yes, yes. Yes, yes. Coming to see you, Major. She's saying, I was she coming to see you, Major. Minu, bin, bi, binu, bina, bina, minu. My, my elder sister, and second sister. What, what, what is that? My elder sister, and second sister. Oh, so the names I just mentioned yes, is your yes, first and yes, second. Marataka Bolesh Kakena. The Lord ministered to me. Yes, yes, what you came yes. to receive Amen. from your men of God, Amen. you have already captured it here. You have already captured it. You thought it was just a meeting with your men of God. Yes, but God is telling me that the same minute you landed here, the grace of Prophet Branson was already on you. Amen. Re remain standing here. Keep standing here. Because God will still be talking to you in a few minutes. In a few minutes. Now hear me. Hear me well. Just imagine. Can I have these photos for, for a while? Alright. Ah. We're still going to be talking here. Finish me, Major. Because I'm seeing pain. Yes, Major. It's like sickness on your parents. Sickness. Ballet, no? Watch the wait, my la no cano shape. 
Celia, 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 Let's sing it out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Lord, I'm grateful. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm. He loves me, yes, he loves me. Our God is so loving. Yes, I need again and again and again. Yes, I need again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. When it's in my tea, when it gets in my cheek, I'm going to go to the fashion key. And yeah, 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 yeah. I don't want to see that. I'll tell the world of what he has done for me. He's so kind and loving. Faithful through the way Raise your hands. That the eyes of God are with you. I want you to understand those who do not understand this thing that I'm telling you about. If you look closely, the Bible says, and Jesus wept. And they said, look how he loved him, meaning Lazarus. But just before that, in chapter 35, you hear a strange thing. Jesus Christ. And then he prays. In 42 he prays. And said I know you hear me and you heard me. Yet there is nothing in the whole chapter where Jesus prayed. What did God hear? Tears. He said I knew that you hear us me. But because of the people which stand here. I have prayed. Do you know he's saying I'm saying a fake prayer. I just want these people to know I pray. And so what I'm praying now is not even genuine. That's what he said. He says, I, I knew you would hear me. But I'm just praying for the people that are here so that they hear me that I'm praying. 
<laughs> Let me tell you something. If a person tells you they pray too much, and you know they pray too much because they've seen pray, them pray too much, they don't. It's a lie. People who pray, you never know they are praying. Because prayer is an intimate thing. Oh, the men pray 17 hours a day. Were you there? Yes, I was there in the house with them praying. They were lying. It says, don't be like the hypocrites, for they love to pray. So loving prayer does not mean say you're a Christian. You might be a hypocrite. For they love to do it. And they also want to be seen by men. Hello, my Geno Sofieta. Sofieta Giro. Escado Kalu. Mary Dakuske. Woman, come. You're pregnant. Come here. Are you a member here? You are new. Which, what new? How new are you? Come. Uh, how, how, how new is new? First time. Hmm? First time. First time, she's First time a, she's here. A visa, yes, come, come here. Face me. Don't worry. Don't worry. Just face me. First time here. Yes. Hey. Hmm. Now I want to prove to you. That I don't guess. <laughs> In the realm of the spirit. I saw you there and there was like, you are crying. Come, come, come close. Come close. I saw you crying. As I saw you crying, I said, God, what's the issue with this woman? God said, pick here. There's been a problem. Seven months, three weeks, two hours. <laughs> now I'm telling Professor you. Professor Imagine. Seven months, three weeks, this yes. one. Huh? Yes, no. <laughs> Professor Imagine. <laughs> But there is a problem. The child is telling me. The child just told me. My father is in prison. Yes. Huh? Yes, he's in prison. Yes. Prophet, the husband is in remand prison now. Balacho Kaino Seka. Prophet, I measure. This is. So now, they're just waiting now in order for them to give him a sentence. Yes, Mr. God. Do you know by God, I have the ability to shift it? <laughs> you say, listen. This is, where, this is where prophets deep far. Some will announce it. I can shift it. Do it, Major. As I'm talking to you now, as I'm talking to you now, there is a problem. Yes, man of God. The one that is supposed to be calming you is no longer calming the situation. Okay, what am I saying? I need to say it in Shona. Yes, sir. Do you know Munyaraz? Yes, it's my father-in-law. Your father-in-law? Yes, it's Chased you away last night. Yes. And the place is just here in Hetfield here. Yes. Professor Major. Professor Major. Major. Yes. <laughs> do you have another a sister or do you have anyone? Do you have a sister or you don't have a sister? Yes, I have a sister. Where, where is your sister? She's in Epworth. She's in Epworth. <laughs> because when you are being chased away from the house, I'm not seeing you alone. Yes. Explain in our language. Imagine, prophet, prophet. Uh -huh. when she was chased, she left with a child. 
Another child. She, she was, was not alone. alone, yes. The child you have there is what? Boy. It's a boy. Okay, wait. <laughs> this is a girl. It's a girl. Prophet. 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 Yeah. Prophet. She went for a scan. She no, it's a girl, prophet. She went for a scan. Yes, prophet. Prophesy. Now, uh, give you $1,000. Find somewhere to stay. So when, when people see these things, they think church is a lot of money. You just need to ask people who count offerings there. Sometimes it happens and even get to $1,000. In your head, church is full of money. Start your own. <laughs> you will come for prayer line. Those who want to make money go to other countries there. They don't come to Africa. No. It's one, two, three people that actually go like, you know what? I can actually help this. Uh, what, are you, what do you pay? What is the cost? One, two, three people that are interested in the church running. Everyone else, 99.9% .9 of the congregants are trying to make it. They've come to search for God so that they can be lifted. So, oh, no, no, these people are stealing from people. So we steal from people and become billionaires. Uh, so we are stealing from rich people then. They steal from poor people and they will become billionaires. Yeah, the mathematics is not mething. Oh, we, let me just, um, we just want to honor the presence of uh, the Senate president is here. We love you so very much, Mama. We love you. And thank you for the honor of coming here. And just imagine, as I was prophesying now, I was going to mention her presence here later on, but she just wants to add to the money. We won't tell you what, but she wants to add the money. It's already taking place. Are you hearing what I'm talking about? Uh -uh. How many churches do you go with nothing and you leave with money? Aye. Who doesn't like he. Greg Bond Dini Papa Troy mm -hmm. I'm grateful God did it, God did it Good news music
Ai wa tango ambare tseku musa na shwa ka uta uriwa Kuririno na chesu
Jalu Musa Wake Ulati Ava Wong Elabo Ava Fig Elayo Ez and Lenny says it has a Sazula Zula in Pila in the Mang and Lenayong Sazula Lenny Lazabo Give a shout of praise unto the Lord. You can do better than that. We have. Now, I want you to understand some of these manifestations can only happen if your heart can tune in. There it is. Prophet, prophet. Hush, bah, hey. Ow. Mighty name of Jesus. Jesus. Abracadabra. <laughs> You see, it changes to manifestation to another manifestation. Now, words are coming out. That's it. Do you see that? Come on. It's already taking place. Jesus is Lord. I said, Jesus is Lord. Prophet, miracles are taking place. Yes. For four weeks, my brother was suffering with piles and abscess boil. But right now, you prayed for my brother. We actually went to the toilet to test. Prophet is saying the pain is gone. And the piles have started shrinking, Prophet. The pain has been lifted. <laughs> For four weeks he was in pain. Four weeks. Give Jesus a shout of praise, somebody. I tell you one thing. The things of Jesus can be tested. Science. Science is a study of something that has happened and under observable circumstances. Do you understand when we talk about a framework where you can observe the experiment? Read what science is. You realize that it involves something that can be observed. So evolution is not science. No one was there to see a monkey change into a person. It is simply faith. Competing with another faith. It's a religion. But like I said to you, a child went to the father and said, Father, I have a problem. My mother is saying, human beings came from monkeys. But you told us we came from God. The father said, she's telling the truth. She's just talking about the side of the family. 
They are all monkeys. <laughs> so don't argue with people. If they came from monkeys, you can't argue. They know their own. Mm -hmm. We know our own. We came from God. And we can go back to God. This is a my dad. This is a this is a cabai. Hey, 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 Shebena manunda shama, gigi gigi gigi, gigi gigi gigi. The eyes are open. Yeah, 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 yeah. Arita malo jate kaye. Yeah. It's happening. Some of the Kaya ready? Yeah. Well, which ear? All the ears. Okay. Yeah. Here. with a court issue. This side. Yes, come now. Hey. Oh dear. So I deal with them at the same time. Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. We are about to finish.
Jesus. If you're here, raise your hands. Ah, 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 I said this side. Did, did I not say this side? Why is everyone's hand up? If I be a prophet of God, your problem is over. I know, I know you don't hear what I just said. Notice here. We are changing. We are changing. You see, there are many people here that came here and said, my child, they've actually seen that the child is a girl and we changed to a boy and they go back to hospital. It's changed. Do you think what I said here is different to what I do? It's the same thing, but your level of belief is the thing that will change everything. Oh, prophet! Prophet! Wait, wait, Miracles wait. are happening, prophet, everywhere. You have just prayed for this one, prophet. She had two problems. She had vaginal discharge problem and another problem with her ears. Both of them, prophet, she could not hear sound properly. She would hear things from afar, prophet. But as I'm speaking now, she can hear me, prophet. The ears have been opened just now. The vaginal discharge Whoa. stopped just now. Celebrate Jesus! Now, do you see? There to go and test it. Yes, sir. We don't say when somebody has got HIV, like last week we had um, an HIV issue. We have two weeks ago we had HIV issue here and it became negative here. It doesn't become negative because we say, you are now a hero, do you run? So, oh, I can run now, I'm HIV negative. No. The doctors are at the back there. They test you, you are there, they take your blood, HIV test, you get it negative. Come on. You, listen, a man with an experience is not at the mess of a man with a mere argument. You can argue all you want. One plus one is two. You can't argue with results. Argue with one plus one if you want. But with the answer, the answer is, it will never change. My sister, the one with the court case, the one I call with the court case. I, it's not going to be more time now. Oh, yes. Okay? Because this is not something that we cannot fix. Amen. Uh, Jesus can fix anything. Yes, yes, sir. The problem that they are going to find, I'll tell you what's wrong and what is the big problem. That oh, yes, tell me, Daddy. Please prophesy. This is a man. He has stayed there for some time. Yes, that's true. Now, this is South Africa here. Yes. And a man is going there to just try and get new documents so that they can stamp new months. And say, oh, now yes, you have. That's true. Uh huh. Now, when they start looking at the papers, they realize they are all fake papers. Oh, yes, that's true. Ill illegal ID. <laughs> so now they arrested him now. Yes, he's in Riman. He's in Riman now. Yes. In, not here, South Africa. Yes, in Deben. <laughs> Professor Imeja. Now, this is the problem. He was lied to by someone. They lied to him. They said, yeah, you know, this, this, if you, you know, I can do visas. You, you know, human beings are evil. Say, so I can do visas. Then they Your gave him, he took the money. Da, da, da. The biggest problem now is they want the person who sold the visa. That's true. That's true. Now, even if your father remembers the person, to say the name, the name will be different from the name they know. Yes, that's so true. So they think he is now closing. He doesn't want to say the real person. Yes, that's true. They even denied giving me a bail. They denied him bail. Yes. <laughs> but you came to the right location. Oh, yes. Thank you. Oh, thank you. All things are possible. We grant bail is here. Listen to me. In everything in life, it's all about who you know. Uh, I know a lot of people, but in this subject I'm dealing with, I know Jesus. That's my connection. If you connect with Jesus, you will collect your collections. So here, I decree and declare by the Spirit of God that all shall be okay in the name of Jesus. All shall be okay. And I speak a speed, supernatural speed. A shift 
in the spirit. Amen. Oh. A shame Why I'm uh, come come close here. Why I'm having a problem? See, you come. You are the one that I, I, that made me call the lady. So the sister with the court case, just remain where you are. You never know. Now, because I, I, need, I need to go now. Professor I mean, Major. Now, Two more you minutes. are the reason why I call. I kept on saying. You are the reason why I called. I called the lady with the court case because your your paper is court case. Thank you, Major. If I'm moving, you move. And do I say stop? There's a paper. This is your problem. Yes, Major. Right now, are you are you new here? No. You are, you are, you've been a member here? Yes. How many years? Uh, three years. Three years? Yes. Ah, you are the generals. Come on up. <laughs> now, this is a problem. Come here. Hold your ears. How old is she? She's nine years. Huh? Nine years. Nine years. Yes. This is like a few months back. Yes. Hmm? Yes, Major. This is like a, I'm seeing a thatched house. Yes. A thatched house. Yes. They raped there. Yes, 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 Major. <laughs> so this is not town. This yes. is rural area. Yes, yes, Major. So and this is a family member. Yes, I do not. As I talk to you now, there is a report at the police here. Yes. But because there are family members talking. Yes, Major. Yes. And some saying, let's deal with it as a family. Yes, yes, they yes. say that. No. What, what, what do you enjoy on a nine year old? If you want sex that much, buy it. There are many selling it. Honestly. This is, I don't know why I'm saying eight years. I mean, this thing might have happened around the age of eight before she became nine, nine, nine. Yes, she turned nine years on, on nine April. All right, now that's it. Professor, I mentioned. Because God is saying it's when she's eight. Mm. No. This, this needed prophecy to this level and I want you to deal with it. Let's deal with it legally. Please see, see honorable here. Go, 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 go with them. Yes. 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 You are mercy for Jesus. No, listen. See, there is a difference in claiming. Claiming. No, you, you will never feel it. You will never understand it unless you put yourself in that woman's shoe and say, My daughter. I told you your relatives don't like you. Oh, yes. I, I, I teach honor, loving your family, loving your mother, pay whatever, groceries, pay this. I tell you this, I teach honor. Oh, yes. But I have to tell you this, your relatives, your friends don't like True. you. Anyone can do anything to you. The reason why they tolerate you, you are as poor as they are. Let one day dawn where you start showing some financial prowess. You call me, you tell me, you see, 
Even my own sister, my own brother, they are doing this. You will tell me. Hmm. One person in, in America, they won about what? Three million US dollars. Uh, three million pounds. And he went there wearing a mask. So that relatives won't know it's him. <laughs> I don't play around with these people. You know, right where we are right now, imagine your own child. It's bad enough when it's an old person. Eight years. How do you, how, how do you approach an eight-year-old girl? I don't think it should even be called rape. This is murder. You have stolen the innocence of an eight-year-old person. The innocence. Now your life will never be the same again. Will never. The people that are trying to protect you, that you think will protect you, are the ones damaging your trust. It's different from someone claiming they raped me and they're lying. Oh, you've been dumped, then you claim rep. No, hey. Eight year old. And yet the case is there. But the person is still free. Because the family said, let's sit down. Let's arrange this. Let's talk. Oh, there are things we can talk about. There are moral, listen, there are moral issues we can talk about. That ah, Baba here has another wife. In Chitungwiza. Ah, let's talk. Let's talk. It's not a crime, it's a moral issue. Do you understand the moral decadence, the failure in morals where you, you, you wake up 3 a.m., you leave your wife there, you lock the door. Where are you going? Eight year old. You are 30 something. Where are you going? Eight year old. Ah. Ladies and gentlemen, you have to get to a point where you look at it this way. Is this necessary? What have you not found? What has gotten you to get this appetite for this? Appetite for eight year old. If it's eight, that means you can get appetite for three year old. For one month old. We don't know when you grab my baby and say, oh, congratulations, what do you mean? Maybe you're congratulating yourself. To see a wife in an eight year old takes a certain level of mental sickness. See, I wanted to prophesy, but I'm now angry. Why don't we to put the fire after jail? Yes. See, 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 I, you have never heard me do this where I say now this is a legal issue. Yes. What? On top of who? Okay, because I love you, I'll proceed.
We're about to finish. We're about to close. Just get on your dancing shoe. Everybody, everybody, everybody. I'm in
Jesus. Prophet. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Prophet, we have, got a, we have got special miracles. Sit down, sit down, sit down. We're just finishing here and then we close. Uh huh. Prophet, a lot is happening, Prophet. Mm -hmm. My brother here, Prophet, is you can see his excitement, Prophet. Uh huh. He can't, he can't, he can't, he can't contain his excitement, Prophet. Uh -huh. Prophet, my brother hasn't been working for three years, Prophet. And he has been applying in those three years, and nothing was happening. Prophet, there's something strange that was happening. Every time he was called for an interview, there is a person that would call him a night before. And when that call comes in, prophet, the next day, definitely, he will not get a job. He will not get the employment. This has been happening, prophet, for three years, which means he has lost count of how many times it has happened. It has gone beyond a coincidence that he now knows that when this person calls, this happened. Last week, Sunday, prophet, you came to the man of God and you prayed him. You, you prayed for him. You touched his chest, prophet. He fell under the power. Monday, prophet, there was a shift. He was called for an interview, not only for an interview. He got the job just like that prophet. Give Jesus a shout of praise, somebody. You are next in line. As a matter of fact, from now onwards, you are first in line for a miracle. Viewers all over the world on Zoom and all the channels around the world, this is your miracle. This is happening. Prophet, he is begging me. He say, I need the prophet to know this. He say that my name was recommended from London. Hey, he did not apply. This time he did not apply, prophet. Mm. Yours will happen ah. without your name. Hey, listen to this. I see your name in places where your CV has not even entered. Ha. They shall mention your name in locations your feet have never stepped in. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Prophet Fire is jumping, Prophet. Yes. Prophet, remember when we were in Mozambique? Mm. It was a very long service. And you ask people to just leave, and people were refusing to leave, prophet. Then you just said from nowhere, okay, since you are refusing to leave, I give you land and stands, prophet. Yes. This man was not in Mozambique, prophet. He was watching online here in Zimbabwe. And prophet. he was watching Mozambique. Yes, prophet. The next morning, prophet, he was alone in his room. The next prophet, the next uh, morning, the mother called and said, we need to buy you land this day, today. And that very day, the mother bought him land, prophet. This is the land, prophet. Mr. Landlord, Mr. Landlord, somebody will call you a landlady. Someone will carry, call you a landlord in the name of Jesus. Amen. Let me tell you something. God is no longer creating land. It's finished. I give you the grace for land. You shall own your own in the name of Jesus. Prophet. Yes. Prophet. Mm -hmm. He got the land and there's someone who came and started to farm on the same land. He was using another piece of land. That belongs now to this young man. Prophet, we entered the season of fire on the altar. Like you say that this season is producing results. Prophet, I'm going to ask the media team to put a picture of what has happened. Prophet, he farmed on his own side. And the invader came and farmed on the other side. Prophet, everything that he farmed, it dried up, Prophet. You can see the difference. It's, it dried up, Prophet. is another one fire on the altar prophet prophet witchcraft is being exposed mm. things are happening 
Yes. Strange miracles are happening, prophet. Mm -hmm. Last Sunday after the service, prophet, mm -hmm. he had experienced two burglaries at his house. People were coming to just steal every other day. Prophet, after mm. this service, after this past week, Prophet, he left and went home. And when he was sleeping in his house, the neighbors came to knock for him. And they said, there's someone who is sitting at your house outside. This is early hours of the morning, Prophet. 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 This is not a neighbor. This is not a relative. This is not someone from that area. Fire on the altar! Prophet, I, I'm sorry to show this, but I have to show it. It's our evidence. Prophet, the man could not leave the yard and the compound to an extent that he had to relieve himself on the place. Do you see there? He was bound, Imagine prophet. you come to steal. Everybody say! Wonder is it? They are the It's a good thing. They are the It's a good thing. They are the good thing. They are the good thing. They Remember Pastor Mtausi? Yes, sir. How they took his decoder, his TV, and they walked. And they got to the intersection. And the man just sat there with everything there. The police came, found him there. Could not stand because he said there are chains with everything there. Fire! Prayer is not giving God information. It is a consumment of fire. We are loading fire. What you need to do to the brother is to ask him, what amount of fire did you supply from the one you built? <laughs> we are no longer... Was it not Psalm 150, Psalm 56 here? Was it not that? Mm, you remember it? Mm -hmm. Take my side. God, please take my side. I'm getting kicked around. Stormed on every... Mm, not a day goes by, but somebody beats me up. They make it their duty to beat me up. Ah! When I get really afraid, I come to you in trust. Amen. I'm proud to praise God. Fearless now, I trust in God. What can mere mortals do? Praise the Lord! Amen! Prophet, yes. witchcraft is exposed and it's exposed, Prophet. Mm. Prophet, after last week's What Sunday, we do here, listen to me and listen to me carefully, viewers all over the world and those on Zoom, listen to me and even you who are here. Paul, when he exhibited real Christianity, the people tried to buy it. Peter did the same. The people would try to buy it. When last did they try to buy your Christianity? It is useless. No one wants it. The apostles would exhibit it and people say, can you just give me a little bit of it? The Christianity you are experiencing around the world now, where these people say, forgive, 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 that's brilliant. That same Christianity is an imitation of the real one. We forgive, all right? But then there is a point. There is a point. The Bible says, He shall fill you with the Holy Ghost and with fire. What you are able to do with the Holy Ghost is simply speaking in tongues. You lack the fire part. You lack fire. If you have real fire, they can say one or two things for a while. But we have a way of turning it back. Listen, the Bible says when Jesus was eating, Suddenly, he took bread and gave it to Judas. And the Bible tells us, without even hiding, it says, and immediately the moment he took the bread, the devil entered him. Who gave Judas the devil? Oh, so please, don't, don't answer, please, don't answer. If you ever eat my thing, anything of mine, you eat it, I can control you from afar. 
No, you did not hear me. I said, if you take what is mine, anyone who takes what is yours, you are able to control it from afar. I, I told you, if a prophet has no ability to kill, he's not a prophet. A boss is not seen by hiring, but by firing. Any fool can hire people. It's the firing part. You have stayed for too long like this. There is a time where you say, that's too much now. I have forgiven, 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 I keep forgiving. Now, now you, you deal with God now. One person, I told them, look, I leave this issue to God. And they said, come, he said, I have heard of you. Just deal with me yourself. Don't leave God out of it. Because if you leave God, if you are bewitched by God, there is no amount of prayer that can deliver you. If God decides to be your witch, that's why, why what I call, what I do here, I don't call it witchcraft. Because it's not witchcraft. It's called Godcraft. Remember the sister last week that came here, we were doing fire? And the hours that were falling into the anointing oil, where we said, go and anoint here, and the hours die in there. And this one had a problem with cats. And what happened the following morning? Do you have the pictures there? There. Uh -huh. do, do, is, it, is it the type of anointing oil we use or what? <laughs> mm. These things are not just dying like that, eh? Mm. Looking up like this to the creator that killed them. Let's go. Please. Prophet, yes. prophet, mm. fire on the altar, prophet. Yes. This past week, prophet, it connects with this testimony, prophet. Mm -hmm. There is someone that was coming and just behaving mysteriously at a workplace. And she did not notice prophet until this past Sunday prophet. After the service, she went back to work. And on Monday morning, there is the same lady who came to her workplace. And she went muttering something uh, in, her, in her mouth. And she was not chewing. She was speaking some words, enchantments, prophet. And she could see this over the window, prophet. And as she finished that prophet, she spread something and she realized it was a small bean, a grain of bean, prophet. We have a picture, prophet. This is right at the door of the workplace of my sister, prophet. She did not notice this time around that she was there. And this was exposed after the Sunday service. Everything that she was saying. She, she thought that uh, she's coming to greet her. And the person approached, muttering something, muttering something, and spat. And realized it's a bean. The ma lady made a U-turn. This one came out something. of the office just like that. Let me tell you something. Anything that you think witches can do, mm. if your Christianity has not reached the level of witchcraft, Hear this. Christianity at its junior level should rival voodoo. So if you can't challenge any voodoo priest, you're not yet a Christian. No, no, you, you're still not getting me. No, you see, the clapping is infected by swine flu. This one is infected by COVID. Try one for Jesus. Prophet. No. You are, listen, if we say Christianity is Christian, this is the reason why Muslims are still arguing with that about Jesus. Because they say, Allah said, of, meanwhile, Allah does not exist. Now, they say, Allah said, Allah has no child. Not right? And you say, Jesus is Lord. See, they keep arguing until you say, sir, two days ago, you were in your room. Hmm? You, 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 on the side, you. The white one. Yes. You. This is a few months back. It's yes, not sir. even this month. It's yes, last sir. month. Yes, sir. It's last year. You had a dream of me mentioning even land you will get. Yes, Look sir. at the woman there. And the place is not even in the place where you are. Yes, sir. It's in Kumasi. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. This is a dream. Yes, sir. If this man was a Muslim, what do you think was going to happen immediately? It's no longer arguments. 
As I'm talking to you now, you mentioned it once. I saw this man. But your wife, this, ah. Revelation 9. No, 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 no. This is a location here. God is saying, I'm about to bring you business. Amen. You hear me? Are you hearing this? Yes, sir. And I'm seeing the business has to do with containers coming into the country. Amen. Yes, sir. No, no, you're not hearing me. It's import. Yes, sir. I'm seeing China involving itself. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Because this is like the largest port in Ghana. Mm. We're talking about Tema here. Tema. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Mm. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. You see. Now, are you getting what I'm trying to say now? Woman. Prophet. Yes, saying I already, that we I already know. Huh? He's saying that we are in the process of doing that business. Where do you come from now? We, we are, are from, from Accra, Ghana. Which part of Accra? Tema. 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 I already know. Now hear this. Woman, hear me. Yes, okay? Yes, sir. What you came here for, I have accepted. Thank you. God bless you. You are hearing this now? Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. do, do you hear? Yes, sir. I have accepted. God bless but me accepting it does not mean I'm a very difficult person. I'm a very difficult person. I know this myself. All right? Yes, sir. So I'm, I will control this thing. We are ready, sir. Because now, this is a ministry. Yes, sir. And I'm seeing the apostolic on him. Yes, sir. I'm seeing the apostolic. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Are you getting what I'm trying to say? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Are you hearing this? Yes, sir. And the prophetic will be over your life. Amen. But it will be an apostolic ministry with the prophetic injected into Amen. it. And I saw you yes, sir. with a mantle for prayer. Yes, sir. A mantle. You can go on top of a mountain and stay there, this woman here. And all she has wanted, all she, all she came here for, and he came here for his this man should accept to be our father. So I said, I accept. But what I'm beginning to see is property. Amen. But the business, I'm seeing people bringing in things Amen. from outside the country. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Somebody promised to uh, ship things for us from China. Do, do you see what I'm saying? Come on! Because I'm moving here. I get to this roundabout here. I see Fifth Avenue. I go Fifth Avenue. I see, I see Chris Moon. I see Quantum Oil. This is near Quantum Oil. There's like an old town or, or town or something like that. Yes, sir. Near yes, Tema. Barakanos Keketeme. Selamai. I speak by the authority of the Spirit. When you leave this location, you will not leave the way you came here. Amen. You will have loaded yourself with the fire. Amen. Nations shall hear you. Amen. In the name of Jesus, you have been announced. Please, let's Prophet. continue. I'm going to see visitors, international visitors tomorrow at 11 a.m. 11 a.m., I'll be seeing you. Prophet. All right, yes. We still have some testimonies, Prophet. Yes, because Prophet. of time. Yes, prophet, because of time. Prophet, my sister came last week, Monday, and she could not find anyone because uh, we didn't have a service, prophet. So she got oil from our team, prophet, and she went, she's staying in Seke, the rural part of Seke, prophet. And the neighbor is sick. The neighbor has been sick for three months, bedridden, prophet, because he had an issue of drug abuse, prophet. So she begged the neighbors if he, she can only anoint the the sick person. Prophet, after anointing the person that was bedridden for three months, prophet, the next morning, the person rose from the bed and he was okay, prophet. I keep telling you, he was okay, I'm not prophet. here to give you information. I want you to go out there and do what I do. Amen. Amen. That's real empowerment. Pro prophet, the man does not even believe in Jesus. Hey! The man does not believe in Jesus, prophet. She what, had to what? ask to say, just allow me to anoint with this oil. What, what type of power uh. overrides your faith? Mm. Prophet, prophet, not only humans are being affected, prophet. So in that area, there are people that are stealing cattle, prophet. 
So she had a plan. She anointed the whole <laughs> the whole head of cattle that belongs to their family prophet. Prophet, people were laughing at a faith prophet. That same week, prophet, people came and they stole one of their cattle prophet. But prophet, you can see the picture. It came back alone on its own prophet. With a cord. Yeah, yeah. Not only the cow with the cord, but also the footprints of the thieves. There, prophet. Hey! Penduka anointing. <laughs> Have you lost money? It's coming back. Have you lost a relationship? It's coming back! Prophet, a lot is happening, prophet. Yes. My sister once came here to testify when she became a counselor, prophet. And just after the, the, the testimony, prophet, you prophesied to her and said, you are rejoicing now. You shall rejoice even more because greater things are coming in your way. Prophet, she left the service and that very week when she went back to council, she was voted, prophet, to head one of the committees, which is the highest committee, prophet, that is to do with minerals here in, in, in Chegu to prophet. Icho. Pro prophet. Icho. 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 Listen, let's go eta. Somebody scream! Say to your neighbor, neighbor! 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 Say neighbor! Neighbor! We want to chant for Jesus. Are you ready, somebody? Are you ready? Listen. Jesus Christ, the healer. Jesus Christ, the provider. Jesus Christ, the sanctifier. Okay, okay, okay. One more time, one more time. Are you ready? Chi, 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 chi. work. <laughs> we finished, prophets. We are not doing this. Simosa Gumbo. 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 When I say check your balance, are you ready? Are you ready? Come on, check your everyone. Are you ready? One, two, let's go. Are you ready? 
Check your pockets. Check your pockets, somebody. Okay. Are you ready, somebody? Are you ready? One, two, two three, three, let's go! go. Check, check. Check, check. In Zambia, they say, in Zambia, they say we are carrying the bomb. Yes, sir. We Let's carry the bomb. Zambia. Let's go to Zambia. Yeah, Throw it on the enemy. Yeah. Ah. Break it down, break it down. So in Zambia, they say Nyamula Bombe. Means carry a bomb and destroy your enemy. Are you ready, somebody? Yeah. Are you ready, somebody? Yes, I'm ready. Let's go, everybody. One, two, let's go. Hey. Everybody. Yes, what's happening? Prophet, we've got another one, Prophet. Yes. Fire everywhere, Prophet. Yes. The young man sitting with me, Prophet, has established a business and it was running for three years, Prophet. And he could not get any... He could not get any prophets, bro. Any Somebody prophet. likes him. Somebody knows him. Prophet. Yes. Three years, he was struggling to even buy a motorcycle to establish his business, Prophet. Three years prophet, and he's saying that in those three years I stopped maybe over two times, trying and trying and failing, prophet. And this year, prophet, you came and you prophesied to her to him, and you said it is well. Don't worry about it, prophet. There's something that happened from that touch, prophet. I have got pictures that I want to show you, prophet. People, prophet, prophet. Second, second, second. tell you that every Sunday I'll be getting into someone's car. Yeah! Yours is coming. Yamula Bombay. Yours is coming. Are you ready, Simba? Yamula Bombay. All right, what's happening? Prophet. Prophet. I, 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 I need to show you more pictures. Some people are saying, why, why are we carrying the bomb? We are blasting the enemy. Yeah. We are blasting the enemy. Yeah. Wherever he's hiding, he's coming out. He will surrender. Prophet. The Bible says, and David took a sling. Hey. <sighs> and notice here, he did five stones. That was like the five-fold ministry. And only one ministry, the finger is little so that he can get into your ear, so he's a teacher. Mm, you're not hearing what I'm talking about. Are you getting what I'm talking about? And the pastor is like the wedding ring. He marries his people. And the middle finger is like an, it is the finger that controls and gives weight and strength to the whole hand. So he's an evangelist. 
it covers everything. Then the thumb is large enough to put order. So it is the apostolic. But the finger gives directions. It's the prophetic. So whatever stone he took from that bag represented the prophetic. It knew where to went to go. It went here. Bam! Where? Straight here. And scientifically, you have to fall back. So it knew where to go. And scientifically, if you are hit here, you have to fall back. But the Bible says signs was opposed. And Goliath fell face down. Your problem is about to bow. Now some of you will say, I, my, my, my problem prophet is too big. Even David thought Goliath was big. But he, he had a certain level of understanding. He said, this is a big target. So it's too big to miss. No, 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 you did. No, 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 yeah, 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 yeah. I will never miss. This is too big for me to miss. Too big for me to miss. The taller they come, the bigger they come. Yes. Prophet, since that touch and that prophetic word, prophet, there is favor that is on him. And he's saying that people are coming to surrender their vehicles. And there is one who is actually offering to buy small motorbikes for him. Prophet, we've got pictures of a truck and another commuter omnibus that was surrendered. And they are saying, we will do business according to your own terms. According to your own terms. They've already surrendered their vehicles, Prophet. Yeah. I, you see, just a few days ago, I got report that there was another person who I prophesied the way back to start a church, and he started. You know him, if I mention his name, you already know him. And he was like, oh, I heard that prophet angel is fighting people. I don't fight nobody. Let me tell you something. You will never hear that you an angel is fighting someone Nicodemusly. No. I will speak here that I'm fighting you. Honestly, you know me when I fight someone. I stand here and mention their name. Why would I fight background? You think we're fighting because of churches? No, oh, the quality of my people is higher than any church here. Why would I? Be? Hey! Yes, sir. You see, let me tell you something. It's not that we don't want to do deliverance. We you see, we, we, we cast out demons. Do you understand the point? And we cast out demons and we have a certain level of controlling whatever is happening. Do you understand? Do you understand? There, there's some kind of rolling we don't do. Simply because of quality. Look at the carpet. You know, you, you have to... Look at the chairs you are, you are sitting on right now. Those chairs there. We have to. Even demons in you will respect our quality. A demon will just be like, no, 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 I'm not going to make noise, okay? I'm coming out nicely, okay? This, this, I'm not. Cleanliness is next to godliness. May more take place in the name of Jesus. More will begin to take place. I receive, I receive, I receive. I see you written. In a lot of papers, millionaire, 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 millionaire. I if you are here, it. you are listening. I I yeah. Hear me well. Now you know how to get deeper in God. Listen to this. I want to give you a prophetic word for this, for this, this week. It is a prophetic word. You have heard it. You have heard so many times. You have heard it so many times. Turn to your neighbor. Say, neighbor. The God I serve. Has a billion ways to bring a million dollars to me. In the name of Jesus. So, so, so please, please, don't doubt that it will come. He has a billion ways to bring just a million dollars to you. Ah. Mm. Mm. I told you how to speak this year. If they say, how are you doing? You say, as a millionaire, everything is okay. They are not, you, you are. viewers all over the world, this is the greeting. How is it? They say, what's up? You say, 
as a millionaire. Begin to speak until that million dollars get to you. And I still get a lot of letters from a lot of texts on our WhatsApp and, and even on our DMs to say the South Africans are like, you are the prophet that is getting things correct internationally. Can it be possible that we just get a certain coalition so that the other small parties will join ANC? Let me tell you something this, right? We have our Thursday service, I believe. But before Thursday or Thursday service, I will tell you my decision on South Africa. I did not say their decision. Mine. And my decision will take place. Oh, no, no, no. You don't get what you didn't hear what I just said. Okay. I was talking to a great prophet from another country. And he said, No, if this and this does not happen, prophet. Don't worry. You leave the case. I will put this guy in power. I said, what, what are you saying? He said, yeah, I will choose. I was sitting with Brother Dexter here at my house there. And he wanted to watch some football. I said, look, it was, I think it was World Cup. I think it was World Cup. I said, don't watch it. Let's go and talk. He said, no, I just want to see the scores. I said, now, tell me the scores you like. This is the truth. Yeah, uh, you, that mic doesn't work yet. <laughs> this is the whole truth. He, sa he said, I think it was 3-2 or something. And I said, now, it's done. Let's go in and, and talk. He says, no, 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 I just want to watch. I said, no, 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 3-2 is enough. Which one do you want to win? 3-2. Two. 3-2 three, two are the scores. Are you getting this? Someone here, this I decide true. now. This is true. I decide now. By the end of this year, they will have millionaire on the before they, uh, they uh, before they start your name. They say millionaire. I made a decision. I don't know about you, but my decision is already made. It's what's left for you to do is to receive it. <laughs> Did I not tell you just a few weeks ago? I said every Sunday here, I'll be coming out there to get into someone's car. Just to sit. You think we were joking? It will be every Sunday. Every Sunday. Because of time. Because of time. Let's all stand up. Let's get into our offering time. Father, thank you for this reality. For the time of this offering and this seed is here. Viewers all over the world, as you participate in this, Expect a move of God. It is not what you give that matters. But it is what you are left with that matters. It is not the amount, but what you are left with. I decree and declare in the name of Jesus. For this offering to be looked upon with mercy. That the eyes of the Lord will go towards this offering. And look at where you have taken it and supply your sources of income. May this year be that year where clients are driven to you. Where money of all currencies will stampede towards your bank account. In the name of Jesus, may your offering and your tithing be sanctified in Jesus' mighty name. Come and drop it here. Don't do it to show me you can give. Now, you bet angel can disappoint you. God doesn't. He will never disappoint you. Allow people to to move around. Ah, 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 ah. Solamon, you crave to 
Escalate, though. Or it is an hour. Tithers, if you're a tither, come on. Philippians for our tithers. If you was all over the world, the promptings are on your screen as usual. The reason why God uses us many times, there is a knowledge. our focus is on him and whenever God blesses you you do not become subject to what people want you to preach now you preach by commandment never by invitation what God tells you to say is what you then say you don't follow people it gives you kind of some kind of freedom. Father, I decree and declare in the name of Jesus that these that have chosen to follow this principle of tithing, may they be increased in the name of Jesus. May every story that is spoken of them, written about them, may it resound with testimonies and testimonies and testimonies above testimonies. Let the power of God for this fire on the altar, let the power of God be upon them. That when people talk of stories of people that have conquered mountains, these are part of those people. In Jesus' mighty name, all over the world, you are ancient to success, succeed. There is an action to function, an action for success in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Just drop it here. Thank you. You can do better than that. I did not ask you to clap. So if you are doing it because you choose to do it, then let it make sense. the Lord. I came down here to announce that this is the end of the service. <laughs> In Dai Kumba. Go home. Ah, uh ah. -uh. You are home. Jesus Christ. 
So, Mama, we want to thank you and honor you for being here. Thank you. thank you so very much. And we want to assure you we are praying for you and we stand with you. We are your supporters here and we'll continue to stand with you. In prayer and everything you have seen here, including our God craft, we are going to use it to protect you. <laughs> Love you so very much. And take it. You can do better than that. You can do better than that. Ah, is that all? Raise your hands and worship. Nations gather just to see what only you can do. You say the nations are gathered just to see what God can do. Nations gather just to see what only you can do. What only you can do. You sent a prophet of our time for us to see what only
Amen. Amen. Viewers all over the world, we love you so very much. See you next week. See you next week. You are blessed this week. You are protected, heavily guarded, heavily protected in the name of Jesus. We love you all. We love you all. We love you all.